Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to uh, do a couple repairs on this Olympia SM3. This morning this machine was a, is an original owner machine and it's going to be handed down to a granddaughter. It's been in storage for 30 or 40 years. Seems to work pretty good, except the space bar is not an adjustment right. It's uh, stalls right there, right there. So it's just out of adjustment, it looks like, um, when it does space. And you have to depress the space bar all the way, and then you can feel it. When you release it, it release right there. It should, it should release up here, physically, the space bar. So it's just an adjustment. There's a couple ways to adjust this, and then of course, this has the most common Olympia SM problem that there is, which is the carriage it is binding. rubbing on the carriage rails over here and over here. That is those rubber uh, spacers in there. And what's kind of cool about this was most of these get these wear marks from rubbing so much here. This one really hasn't rubbed much because it's been sitting so long so it doesn't really have the marks so I'm not gonna mark it up too much more here but that's that is of course these rubber uh, spacers right here between the, the frame and the, the frame and the case so it's gonna be that spacer right there this one is probably okay. Especially the rears are are bad. Usually these ones up here on the top are not as bad. Same uh, same deal though. And we'll probably just do all four. But I'll just demonstrate the bottom two. Let's uh let's adjust the space bar. And uh There's a couple adjustments. So here's the space bar. Comes down to this pivot. There's an arm that runs down here to here. And pushes the escapement. You can form this piece right here, it looks like. Make it work. You can adjust this piece right here. Close the gap. Or you can adjust this right here. So that's three ways on this Olympia, it looks like. We're going to do this one up here. So I'm just going to loosen these screws up and uh, see if we can adjust this. Right up here. Well, that screwdriver is not going to fit. Loosen those so I can just move it. So we need it to we need it to pull that linkage more. So we're gonna tilt it this way. See if we can get that to move just ever so slightly. I'll stick something on here. To Might have got it just right. Tighten these up. We're going to take a look. Okay, so that's much better. So it doesn't bottom out. Yet when it 
clicks to release, it's got just a little bit. About the same distance down is up. I think that's on. I think that's spot on. Wow. It's pretty good. First time adjusting that in it. Got it right the first time. That's pretty simple though. You know what I notice about this SM32? I, I know this, but each one of these little uh each one of these key tops has a cushion. See that key top right there? It's actually a little shock absorber. Each key top has its own little shock absorber. I don't know if you guys can see that. So here's this key key top. I'm gonna hold it and you can see it compress. when I press it. So it gives a little bit of a cushion when you type. It's not solid but it's it's pretty hard to push that. Pretty cool. Alright, let's dig down to uh, one of these stops down here. Let's do this side. And let's just unscrew this. I think every one of these SM3s has a compressed washer there, so just get that out. Just got to spread this a little bit. Oops. That's pretty neat. It's stuck. Let's get that old rubber piece out of there. There it comes. Grab it with something. There she is, all squished. And this washer is still pretty good. This one doesn't really have a lot of pressure, so it's it's kind of hard. But I'm gonna leave that one. What we need to do is find something that's about twice the thickness of this, maybe about the thickness of that. And what we're going to use <coughs> is some type of hose. So we got some PVC hose. That would work. It's got to be at least able to hold that screw in. That would work. But I've been using fuel line hose because it's got fiber fiber in here so it's really strong got fiber got fiber and there's lots of different sizes there's three different sizes right there so I think we're just going to use that one right there need to do it's pretty simple Let's cut some pieces off get yourself a fresh razor blade and just just slice a couple pieces off here like that I'm gonna do a bunch of them and we'll see what looks the best well that's pretty that's pretty tough. I'm gonna fetch me a fresh razor blade, I think. Oh, that's better. Okay, so I'm just gonna slice some of these and then take a look and see which ones look the best. Okay, so these are. That one looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of a lump there, but that might work. Too thin, too thin. Too thin, too thin, too thin. I'm making them too thin. 
crooked. Crooked. Too thin. Okay, well. Let me readjust my, uh, my cutting method here. Let's show it a little bit thicker. these two in the rears right there just dispose of those okay pretty simple procedure here just stick it in there maybe uh spread this gap a little bit get it in there So put it in there, reassemble it. That's pretty simple. It's got a shoulder screw on it, so you can just tighten it as tight as you want there. It's probably what, it's probably what saved this upper washer is the, uh, the fact that it's a shoulder screw. Probably what kept the pressure off that. So let's, uh, let's pop this one out of here. Okay, spacer in, spacer in, let's give it a, let's give it a try. So, let's see if we can hear it rub. No rubbing. Just some nice bell action. All right. Since that went pretty fast, let's look at one more thing here. 
this has got carriage shift I noticed and it's in it's in alignment as far as the motion goes but it looks like this stop here is you could use a little adjustment it's not quite this is not the sh motion adjustment it's just some type of secondary uh, I'm gonna move that it looks like it's been adjusted before it's got some marks on these screws I'm just gonna move it that way so it engages this right there just just butts up against it doesn't really affect the uh, end result but it looks like it's some type of a secondary so now it rests right on it and the other side was also see that that movement right there I'm just gonna take up that that slack just ever so slightly move that bracket that away just like that just just notice that touches which I think that's where it's supposed to be so now no movement this is a really solid machine just needs some fine-tuning to make it perfect hey one other trick on this machine when you're working on them and you need to uh, get under this lid and work around here you can just flex this lid and bracket like this and like this and take the lid off now you like that so now you can access the interior this has the original spools you know this thing has not been used much those spools would have gone missing decades ago all right we're about done with this one just got to clean it clean this guy up make it look prettier than it is already Okay, Phoenix typewriter, good day.